today we're making salsa brava, brava sauce, that hot fiery sauce that you get in Spanish tapas bars. We're frying the potatoes the perfect way. We're doing the whole thing so you can like just blow your taste buds up while your friends and I don't know, eat a really yummy sauce. I'm excited. Let's get into the uh, Spain Reveal kitchen and well, bingo. Let's go. James Blick here, welcome to the Spain Revealed Kitchen. This is the place where your tapas, your Spanish food dreams, and a few nightmares come true. We have potatoes, and we have personality wine. What could go wrong? There's been a lot of requests for this dish, patatas bravas. This is a dish that I actually hadn't made before, so I spent the last week making various versions of this, trying to kind of figure out my recipe that I could share with you guys. Yoli's been my guinea pig over there. It's a dish that doesn't have a set recipe, so there's a lot of different variations. I've been asking people, I've been reading, I've been tasting, it's been all go. So what ingredients have we got, apart from the wine? Give me a moment. <laughs> you need a personality, man. <sighs> That's better. Red pepper, green pepper, onion, key. Got these like tentacles mm. on the top, which I think is very cool. So Lovely. that's why I picked that one. Oh, it could be a bit rotten. Garlic, Spanish dish. Two types of paprika. Pimentón, Spanish paprika. Picante, uh, that's spicy. And dulce, sweet. We've got a little bit of flour that'll help it, uh, I don't know, Make kind of thicker. all connect. Chicken stock, we've got chicken stock. Don't look at this disgusting bottle of, of vinegar <laughs> that looks like it's 100, okay, years, 100 old. years old. Red wine vinegar. And here's the little secret ingredient, a fresh red chili. These are the ingredients, salt, olive oil, blah, 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 of course. But there's one ingredient that we do not have and you might be wondering, but James, where is the tomato? Here's the rub, guys. So a lot of Bravas recipes, a lot of Salsa Brava recipes do have tomato in. The original recipe when it was made in those Madrid bars in 1960 did not have tomato. They were literally paprika, onion, and a little bit of flour and olive oil. They were really simple. Remember, 1960 Spain was poor. But in the, you know, in the last years, in the last decades, tomato has crept into the dish. I've been working to make a version without tomato. Tomato-less. Sorry, guys. I might do a recipe another day with tomato, but not today, Josephine. So the potatoes. Now, here's the thing. I've been reading online that one of the really important things when you're frying potatoes is to soak them in water for about an hour or longer first. So I've been soaking these guys in water because then the starch comes off because apparently what happens is the starch can burn really easily. It's a sugar. And how I've cut them is I took the whole potato, I sliced it down the middle, and then I took what the half that was left, sliced that down the middle, and then cut across it. I'm going to take these out. They've been soaking for an hour, an hour and a half. Um, and that thing. Ole! Woo! Um, it's okay. the beginnings. I got those. Start. Look at all that starch in there. Crazy. <laughs> all right. Wild. I need to dry those. How does that work, y'all? Do you like dry them individually, or I'm just gonna let them kind of dry for a bit, do their thing. Um, I'm gonna leave them over here, and then I'm gonna start cutting up the ingredient. Where's my knife? Um, here it is. <laughs> How do I cut these? So previously washed, usually I would say, and I'm gonna make sure the ingredients are in the YouTube description. So you can check down there exactly. Cause when I'm, when I'm in the zone, I'm just kind of, I don't really have exact proportions. And with the brava sauce, it doesn't really matter that much. You know, it's like right. everyone to their own, you know? No. So I'm gonna say about, I'm gonna say about that much, kind of half. Okay. Would you yeah. agree Yoli? Yeah. Yeah, Yoli agrees, Yoli approved. Mm. And then I'm, uh, I'm doing this wrong. Yeah. Oh shit, I gotta get this thing yeah. first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I should say this ridiculous chopping board we have is not our normal one. Our normal one is down here, but Yoli vetoed it because it looks kind of gross. It so does, right? We're going to make more cooking videos. We need a filming chopping board <laughs> so people don't think we're dirty bobs. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm still a bit nervous, so I'm going to have another sweat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Right, the hatch. Just need to let that flood the veins so yes, yes. I can start cooking. Get in there, Yoli. Let's get in the light. How do I cook this? I'll just do this, but I. Effectively, I just do it as small as possible. Look at that cutting skills. I do it as small as possible because in the end, you're gonna actually, um, oh, this mat is terrible. In the end, what you're gonna do, and I'm just gonna show you, you're just gonna cut it as small as possible. Very it's like, small, yeah. yeah. Because you're gonna triturar. How, how do we say that in English, Yoli? You're gonna, uh, you're gonna blend it. it. Yeah. yeah. You're getting it like, you know, little bitsy bits, bits like that, whatever that's called. That's not Julien, that's, um, <laughs> Diced? Diced? Yeah, diced. It's a small, small dice. dice. It's a small dice. So that's kind of what you're going to do with the green onion. No, not the green onion. The green pepper, the red pepper, um, <laughs> and the onion. I think this is too much, so I would say a little less. I'll show you when I put it in the pan, but yeah, I probably should have done a quarter of that big red pepper. This is not a, a cooking show. Um, 
uh, in as the such. Chip. As such. As such, exactly. <laughs> that should be the, the tagline for this thing. Not a cooking show as such. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the part I kind of hate the most. I hate all the chopping, you know, I'm so hopeless at it. I always got a crappy knife and a no, you do crappy well. board. Whatever. And a... I think this, this onion's touch and go, so. Can we see it? No, it's very soft and weird. Oh, okay. A little insight into what we're drinking, cheap supermarket wine, Señorío de Nava, and it's a Tempranillo from Ribera del Duero. We have a Rioja here. I feel like, this is Faustino, I can never, how many are those? Like five, six, three? I can never quite get my head around it. I have a theory that the quality of a Spanish wine is directly inversely proportionate um, to the uh, importance of the title of the name on the wine. Uh -huh. So it's like, if your wine is like Señorío or Marques yeah. or things wow. like that, or like El Tal, El Conde, El Tal, <laughs> it's gonna be shit. All right, so get in here, Yoli. We're gonna do about half an onion. Wow, Yoli. this knife is terrible. <laughs> all right, blunt knives, huh? So yeah, we're gonna do about really half the skin. onion. Get rid of all the skin, that skin. Stuff, yeah, I know, huh? I gotta get rid of the skin, but okay. I gotta get in there to get it out. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Perfect. done, no that's good, there. no yeah. skin. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the skin. So again, very similar. I'm gonna go like that, boom, boom, boom. And then I'll just like, you know. Are you gonna cry? No, I, got, I was drinking wine. Oh, okay. It is hitting me, wow. Oh, of course it is. All right, one sec. All right, back in, okay. I do love cutting onions. You need to get rid of those bits. What bits? Oh, that okay. bit. Okay. And the, the middle, too. Okay. Gotta get rid of the bits. Jesus, I'm in there like a blind man. It's like needle in a haystack. I don't even oh, imagine. Darling. It's like because of the color blindness, and then the eyes are coming. Like you've thrown me into this trap. You're like, get in there, color blind man, and search for that little thing in the onion. Meanwhile, I have to get my eyes in there, and I'm like, I can do it if you want. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. I'm good. I'm fine. All right. No, go. No, I'm not going to get rid of those bits. I can't even see okay, them. Whatever. That which doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Ah, oh, just got a hit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, let's get in there. Oh, okay. look at that. Okay, get this garlic, and do two. Do my Gérard Depardieu. <laughs> really? <laughs> you remember uh, the movie? Which one? Green Card, with Andy, Mac Andy McDowell and Gérard Depardieu. And he does that at some point? Uh, yeah, he does something like that. What he, are they he cooking? He cracks it with his fist. I don't know, some romantic French meal. That's Andy McDowell's best film, Green Card. That's a great film. Peter wow. Weir, great Australian director. Yeah. Well, I just realized what's great about doing cooking videos, you can just kind of chat with everyone and talk about movies. <laughs> oh, this is great. I've got some skin in there, but I mean, you, you'll be Aww. doing this. No, it's okay. I just can't see it. So we've cut all that. I'm going to find my favorite fry pan. Where is it? Really, really small one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's up here. here. Yeah. It's my saucepan when I'm making sauces. Okay, so it's time to start frying things up, get going. The boring part of cutting things is over. I hate the cutting part. I'm going to heat up my favorite pan. So the idea with the uh, with your mixture of green pepper, red pepper, garlic, and onion is to put it on a really low heat. You see, I've got it on this lowest heat over here, Yoli. Mm. Um, so I've got it in there, and you're going to get the pan a little bit hot, and then you're going to cook it really slowly for about 10 minutes. You don't want to... Um, you don't want to really fry it. You don't want to do that. No. Now, how much oil should you put in? I'll make Not sure the recipe. Yeah, no, you put, no, you have to put quite a lot in actually, okay. because Ooh. then you have to make the sort, like you have to add and make the paste ah, and yeah, all sorts yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So you actually put quite a lot of oil in. All right. Um, olive oil, obviously. Good show. Put my garlic over here. Maybe stop frying the potatoes the first time, right? Ah, uh, yeah. This is what I really get stressed about because you got to fry the potatoes and maybe double fry the potatoes mm. while you're doing the sauce. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna start frying the potatoes as well. This is, as I say, I can never quite get my head around order of these things. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna put the garlic in. Put it in there, oh, lovely. lovely. So then remember, that's on a very low heat. Very, very low. For a few seconds and then add the rest, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I like to shake things. It makes me feel like I'm a proper cook. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. No. So that's gonna do its thing there. I'm gonna put in the onion. I'm not gonna put all of it in because I feel like yeah. I went a bit nuts. Well, I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna put all the onion in. That's the half onion, okay. and the sort of two cloves of garlic. But I'm not gonna put all of this in. I'm no. gonna keep some of this because I think it's a bit OTT. Yeah, okay, just go up into there. Yeah. All right. So, I think that's good. Uh, let me get the thing. So the idea with this is to just let it slowly cook away for about ten minutes or so. 
No, oh, lost my voice. Hang on. Standing by. Alright. You say when, Yoli, you know, I don't know. You never know how much stuff to put in this stuff. <laughs> More? Ah, oh, we've got the other stuff. Oh, over here. Yeah, use it. So come back. So yeah, I mistakenly used this pot and then Yoli told me not to. So <laughs> I think it needs a bit more, yeah? Uh, let me just um Yoli does a I, look. I get nervous when I'm using I see other people frying. Hang on. Right. I think that's enough. I mean really? let me see the potatoes. How much potatoes do we have? I think it's fine. Okay. I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna go with more. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in yeah. these onions right now. Just to give them a bit of alegria. And oh, you bought salt, eh? I bought salt, oh, yeah. Good. I went on my quarantine run. Oh, so here's good. the thing. Oh, yeah. shit. Golly, gets, I get in trouble when I do that. The idea of adding the green and red pepper actually comes from Casatoni. They add green and red pepper, and I really love that. It gives it just more depth. When I've been trying these recipes over the last, over the last week, I've been lacking depth in the flavor. And so I want to get more in there, get the garlic in there, get all those sort of things to get that dip. I'm going to fry these soon. Do I do these in batches or are these good to go? Look, Yoli, do you think? Uh, just put some in there and see if we can fit them all. That's not deep enough. We will turn them. Okay. We're not deep frying. Okay, we're not deep frying. No. Not allowed to deep fry because we use oh, too much olive waste. oil. It's wasteful. So this is not a house of deep frying. <laughs> you just kind of turn this now and again. These are just kind of doing their thing. What I actually really love about this dish is the idea that you're really sort of slowly making a sauce and you know kind of bit by bit so the idea is you to double fry you do a lower heat and then uh -huh. you take them out and rest them and then you do a higher heat no, so right. i'm going in yoli oh. stand back Woohoo! crazy yoli has a lot of frying confidence i have very low frying confidence <laughs> so. but this is not all in there yeah but you know how they fit you know when okay. they start cooking i love yoli's frying confidence mm -hmm. you know it's just, it really helps me because I'm like, the minute I'm frying things, I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then you just keep adding olive oil. Exactly. Just in case. Just in case. This is not like hot enough. I'm gonna, ah, there we go. I had it on the, it's the low flame and I had it on the low. So I want the low flame on the high. <laughs> Guys, I'll make sure it's really clear in the description. You're in quarantine. What are you gonna do? You can cook barava sauce twice a day for the next week and you'll be a guru. You'll be better than me. So, you know. <laughs> The experimentation is all part of it. So as someone with low frying confidence, I just want to talk you through kind of how Yoli's talking me through this. So you can see we've got these in here. We're not deep frying because that would use a lot of olive oil. And so we've got like a layer there, but they're not all covered. So what Yoli's saying is get them in there and then every few minutes just give them a turn or something like that. So I like that. You may not have made salsa, but you've probably fried things before. So I feel like everyone <laughs> will have their own technique. I think everyone can fry pretty much in the world. I have right? low frying confidence. <laughs> low fry confidence. How about you? So guys, thanks for joining us again. A uh, little update, Yoli's potatoes are going well. Why don't you get in there, Yoli, and take a look. I'm starting to get that outer fry going on. I've been mm. turning them, getting a golden color. And I forgot to put the chili in. Oh no. So I'm gonna get in there. I've seen people do this on shows and it's like the official thing to do, so. The thing is, we don't know how hot that pepper is. It's okay, I'm, taking the, it? I'm taking the seeds out, it's okay. Well, why don't I check it? Hey, so. Vale. Okay, top. So if you put that, then forget about putting the... No, 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 no. The paprika. Si. No, that's flavor. It's all going in, baby. These are patatas bravas. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. I like it hot, hot. And Yoli does not like it hot, hot. So... I like it hot, but not hot, hot. Okay. I like it hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Yoli likes it hot. Hot. Uh, and neither of us like it hot, hot. Not even that hot, actually. It's not hot at all. I okay. Oh, it's not hot at all, actually, yeah. in the end. Yeah. That chili in there, put your seeds in mm, for good measure. Powder. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna give that a bit of a bit of a chicha. How are the okay, potatoes? No. I'm gonna give the potatoes a turn. Ooh, they're looking good. But we're gonna fry them in. We're gonna double fry them, so yeah, we're gonna take exactly. these out. Yeah, these are coming out. I'm just gonna see where they're at. I'm gonna stick a fork in. Stick a fork in it. I'm gonna give those they're, they're they're not quite fork tender, but they're not fork hard either. Okay. So I'm gonna give those um I'm gonna give it a little bit longer, but this is great, we're doing great. Now, this is a really exciting part of the cooking process. We've got our little mix mixture there of the onion, the red pepper, the green pepper, the garlic, um, and now we have to add the paprika. I love this moment because when the paprika kind of fills oh. your nostrils, it's like Spain. It's like, it smells <laughs> like Spain. All right, I can never get these things open, so I use the back of the what's it. So you want more, again, instructions will be down below. You want more hot than sweet. Really? Yeah. You only put about, 
that much Sweden. Okay. All right, and then double hot. Oh my God. Hot. Even, even with the fresh Maybe. pepper, Patatas hot pepper. Bravas. I know, I know. Mix it all up. So you'll just get in there and take a look. And mix it all up. Oh, when it releases that mm. smell, my God, people. Mm. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's just incredible, the smell. When it hits your nostrils. These potatoes are good. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna drain them onto... So, okay, these are fork. Fork tender. I'm gonna get these, so we're gonna leave. Wow, those are beautiful. I love your frying method, Yoli. I feel like I've gained fry confidence Molly. in this. Uh, beautiful ones, well. mm. yeah. I mean, there might be the odd one that's a bit raw, but. Who <laughs> cares, right? Gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> they say that's what the people in the cooking business say. Do they? I'm super excited and I've gained a lot of confidence. Olé. And now you can fry potatoes. Now I can fry potatoes. Who would have thought? <laughs> Together we learned how to fry a potato. <laughs> if there's one thing I've achieved in life. Okay, we're gonna leave those over there. 20 minutes, turn this bad boy off. Back to the sauce. I, I, if, if I was born again, I'd be a saucier. <laughs> I love this stuff. Just. Mm. Wow, it's so good. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Again, don't look at the bottle, disgusting, 4,000 years old. In, in this whole week of making salsa brava and testing it, I've always felt like it lacked something, a little bit of oomph, was the vinegar. It was mm. the red wine vinegar. Yeah, I right. used to try to share vinegar. I feel like red wine is better. How much? That much. All right. Don't know what that is. I'll make sure it's written below. I'll invent something and write it below. You might be watching me thinking, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I'm so confused. There's no order, there's no rhythm. But the beauty of this recipe is once you've made it two or three times, you've got the basics right. Just add things, you know? Um, you just add things, And right? then you get comfortable and you can kind of make it your own. And I yeah. love that. This is a step I kind of hate. I find really boring. Adding the flour. Oh, I and like And the flour it. helps make the paste. Can I, just I find do it? You can do it. All right, Yali. Oh, look. Pip the spoon in there last time. Oh, no. All right, so. Like about uh, one teaspoon then, right? Yeah, about one teaspoon. Yeah. That's what I enjoy, you see. You can put a little bit more, actually. Ah, there you go. Crazy. Another teaspoon. Another? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. enough. We don't want it to, we don't want okay. to taste the flour. Eso. The flour has to cook a little bit. You're so delicate. And you also may need to make sure that you're not burning the um, paprika. Ah, yes. Yeah, because there's nothing worse mm. than burnt paprika. I'm feeling anxious because I'm not cooking. Oh, relax, relax. Shaking it. Here and you go. what's going on here? We're good. Let's all good. That's all, all good. Off. Very all right. good. Okay, so what that has done by adding the the, the, the flour is just, if you get in there, Yoli, it's created this kind of like pastiness to it. Right. It's, Oh man, I think it's gonna be good though. I'm feeling good. I'm really glad we fried those potatoes your way. Chicken stock. Now, this is the classic Spanish brand of chicken stock. I've seen recipes that also use ham stock, a caldo de jamón. That's okay, I found it that too hammy. And also, a lot of viewers probably can't get uh, yeah. ham stock. I've also seen it made with uh, meat stock as well. Here's the thing. The amount of uh, caldo, the amount of stock you add, really will dictate the, the liquidiness the liquidiness yes. of the final sauce. So I'm gonna add, and the idea is you add it bit by bit. I usually add about 500 and then I reduce it down quite a lot, but you could add like 750 and reduce it down less. It's just kind of kind of figure it out. So you see there, Yoli? I just added it and then, and this is the moment here, I just wanna clarify for you guys. This is the moment when I actually take it off that really low heat and I transfer it to a hot heat. Right. Reduce the yeah, I wanna the reduce liquid. the sauce. Yeah. Speaking as a true saucier. Oh, let's get this flour out of the way. I hate the flour. I find that so boring. Pizza. Oh, I love that smell. Mm. Okay, look at that bubbling away. Yeah, boy. It's too hot. Not that hot. Don't want it aggressively simmering. I'm gonna pour more stock in there. I guess the thing is, I don't know how to cook. And so I like to just kind of let things simmer down. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Get flavor and mm -hmm. um, spend time, you know, listen to a podcast. Mm -hmm. So look, I'm gonna get that down there. Okay, so this is lovely. And so you're gonna let that reduce down more or less because the next step is actually to take what you've got there and food processorize it. Um, what do we call that? Like blend, blend it. it. Blend it. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more stock, but really you're just gonna let it kind of do its thing and bubble away and simmer and get kind of flavor. 
uh, and then when it gets to the kind of consistency you're comfortable with, then you're gonna uh, food process. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I know. You will understand. It's a, Give me it's a stick mixer. It's right? a stick mixer. Yeah, yeah. It's been about seven minutes with the sauce and I just wanted to, we're not there yet, but I wanted to give you guys kind of an update. So the sauce is doing its thing, get in there Yoli, take a look. And every, you know, every few minutes I'll give it a bit of a whirl. I kind of like this part because you got about 15 minutes of uninterrupted podcast time. You don't have to be chopping things or putting flour in things. You're just sitting here like smelling mm, the lovely kind of paprika, wow, a bit of heat in the eyes, but a bit of kind of sinus action there. Mm. And you're listening to your favorite podcast. So and you can also use the time to clean up. You can also use the time to clean up. Or you can also drink more wine. So you're drinking your <laughs> wine, listening to your podcast, maybe cleaning up, and you're doing this. So I'm just going to give it a taste, see where we're at. Mm, I'm going to reduce that a little more. A little stocky still. A little mm -hmm. stocky still. I feel like this has got another seven minutes or so to go. Seven, huh? Yeah. Nor eight, nor six. Seven minute abs, baby. Yeah. <laughs> What's beautiful is that you're going to take all this and you're going to, sorry, uh, blend it. <laughs> And uh, it will it will make sense that action. Uh, you're gonna blend it, and all the kind of garlickiness and all the pepper, it all gets kind of blended into the. But it's a good moment to check for salt. I think it needs a little more. All right, a little more salt. Give it a taste. Boom! That's it. It's coming. I can feel it coming. Mm. They really brought it out. So. Really. Excited. Hey. I think that's four more minutes. Four, four, huh? Four minute abs. Okay, so I think the sauce is pretty good. Why don't you get in there, Yoli, and just see the kind of consistency. I like it. There's a bit of liquidy action still going on. Yeah. I've tasted it. I've checked it for salt. So this is the part that feels like, if I was reading a recipe, you know when you're reading recipes and you're like, oh, this is great, I'm gonna do this recipe. And you get to like three quarters of the way through and they're like, get out the like, you know, kitchen master, and, and you're like, ah, oh, I don't have that thing, and that's a nightmare. Get out of the thermomix. You're gonna have to get something out here, but mm -hmm. uh, once you get over the hump of like, what the hell is that thing, you're good. This is what you're getting out, hence the hand motions earlier. It can also be just a food processor, right? It can be a food processor as well. Where's the thing that I'm looking for? Uh, and where's the attachment? Where's the attachment? Uh, put it in the, here it yes. Is. And this thing, this attaches on. So why I was doing those hand motions earlier is because you gotta hand mix it. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it batidora. Batidora. Oh, this is like a language show as well. Mm -hmm. So you've got this, yummy. I love that color. No, you see beautiful. that yoli? Uh, so I think we're good here. I'm gonna turn this off. You get your batidora. I always feel like I'm gonna melt the plastic or something, but no, no? No. No, okay. no it's made for that. Yeah. It smells so good, guys. It smells like a smokehouse party. I don't know what a smokehouse party smells like, but that smokiness is just so... It's kind of a cliche. It smells, smells Spanish, but it kind of does, you know? Mm. Um, You're looking redder and redder as time goes by. My face? Yeah. <laughs> Should we leave that in the edit? Like, you, mean, you mean redder and redder in life or in this video? Ah, uh, your face just in this video. Oh. Your ears are out of control. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, oh let's God. get in here, Yoli. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I don't know if I'll leave that in. Probably. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. You're going to get in here and you're going to whiz it. Jump like that so I don't die. Yes, please. Mm. Ooh, it's yummy. It's Aye. really yummy. Can I try yummy. it? Yes. <laughs> That's uh, hot. <laughs> Hitch in the back know, of the throat. I know, I know. Hot. <laughs> yeah, burning my uh, hand. <laughs> burning your hand, burning your mouth. <laughs> mm. Good. Ole tu. Ole. Good work. Oh, no, it's beautiful. You're yeah. the potato, mistress. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> tell, the people, like, tell the people what you like. Oh, yeah, well, I like um, the smokiness of it. Mm. Um, and I like just very yummy, and it feels also very healthy, like. There's all these peppers in there and like the onion this and the practically a Spanish garlic. Salad. And you know when Yoli starts getting in there and can't stop eating it, you mm. have succeeded. So Oh, it's beautiful. Drink well that. done, baby. It's not a smoothie. We're going back for the double fry. The sauce is ready. Yoli approved. <sighs> yes. um, so satisfied, so happy about it. Heat this up. I'm going to add a little oil because we would have lost some. Probably. Really? Okay, no, no, stop. Okay, I got in trouble there. <laughs> and then I'm going to crank it up and the idea is then to crisp in the outside because they're cooked in the inside. It might splash me a little bit, but no, nah, that's okay. There's no pain. No pain? No gain. 
And remember we took that starch out, I think that might be having an effect now. Because it's true that sometimes when you do this, they start to brown on the outside. And I did read that that's because of the sugar. So I'm going to turn these, they're getting crispy on the outside. How do you know when the potatoes are ready? The color is starting to change. Come in here, Yoli. You can see it's just starting to get that kind of browning going on. So we're good. We're gonna, oh, not that one. <laughs> wow. Wow, these taste great. I mean, I haven't even tasted them yet. I feel <laughs> that they taste great. If you get in here, Yoli, you can kind of see the, the crispiness, the golden color. And if you can hear this, if you can just get that microphone there. They probably don't have out. Oh. I think they did. Huh? Mm. Mm. They're crunchy on the outside, pillowy on the inside. Perfect. They're beautiful, actually. Oh. I was really nervous about making this video. I can't believe that things have kind of come together. Mm. Um, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to get some onto this plate. There we go. You're having, having tapas for two. You're going to give it some salt. This is Spain. We love salt in this country, so <laughs> kind of... Did you hear that? Wow. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Ba 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 ba. Okay. <laughs> it, it looks really good. I'm pretty proud of this, guys. Taste test time. Yoli, get in there. I've got a big juicy amount. Mm -hmm. Let me see it there. I'm not just saying this because I made it, but it's really good. It is a really good salsa varava. It's got the depth from all those extra ingredients we added in. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, it's really Moorish. Yoli, your turn to try. Yes, right. thank you. Is it good? Oh yeah, mama. Yeah, mm. mama. Thank you, baby, for cooking these delicious bravas. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you. Wow. Mm. We're good? Mm. Mm. We're out of here. Farewell. We'll see you next week for another recipe, maybe. See you. Spain Revealed. Represent. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.